But the time who is gonna come back, who is not gonna come back. It's not your votes. If it's about your votes, right? That's if we allow you to vote. It's not gonna say it that way, but that's practically what he's saying. And I hope you are taking note, Abby. Take a look at uh, this uh, story, this school, right? It is uh, somewhere in uh, Imo State, a primary school. In an effort to make sure that uh, they chase them away from that place, the governor of uh, Imo State, governor of a state, decided to remove uh, the rubbish sheet of uh, this school, primary school. Abandon them in an effort to make sure that uh, they chase them away from that place and the land will be taken. For what? They say those who close the gates, I'll put it this way. They say those who close the school gates are automatically opening the prison gate. An example of that is this. By Opeless Uzodimba. They told us that they are building... Gov government house and nest without proper consultation no sign post no any agreement or arrangement between government and the landowners at least inform the landowners call them on the round table and inform them what they are doing here but they didn't do it they just came with the Army and police security by fire by force. Uh, the one that annoys us most is destruction of this ancient primary school that has produced many prominent men, doctors, engineers, uh, governors, senators, uh, business tycoon. Many meaningful men in the society. Look at this one. This is the staff quarters. They have looted all the zinc at the back. The doors and windows at the back, they have put it out. Total destruction of Mbareke Primary School, which is very, very bad. Very, very appalling. Very, very appalling. Who does that? Nigeria is practicing democracy, government of the people, by the people and for the people, which shows whatever government is doing must be in benefit of the citizenry. But what exactly, especially Omoba, is seeing now is the opposite side of it. Too bad. This in Bareke, but I'm losing all vandalized. many times would they tell you before you know that Nigeria is not for you? Ah! Now they never leave you. They have left you behind. Photo! Not be juju be that! Imagine a government demolishing a school but before the demolition the school actually was supposed to resume like others so it's like an active school. It's not abandoned school yet though. But the last uh, three days, a lot happened that the children from that school would have to go and look elsewhere to continue their education, courtesy of the state government. So the land the school was built on was donated by the community. The community built the school, from what I heard, before government took it over. Then from last week, the People of that community 
received strange visitors, soldiers, police, and so many others in their community. And the target was the school community, I mean, the community school. They told scavengers that the government is about to demolish the school to build an extension of the government house. So everything in the school is a fair game. That's why you, the last video you saw, those are scavengers who are like taking out the, the roofy sheets, taking out all of the, yeah, the zinc there to be sold as scraps. So they send scavengers to loot the school while the children possibly have to like run away and get away from them. And then uh, during the weekend, they brought in their kata, kata, their caterpillars and the rest of that, right? And they demolished the, the remaining structure, graded the part they want to. The community that donated the land, they were never consulted that they were taking over their land. And that one is happening in Imo states. Now, if you are one of uh, the policemen, in Nigeria, I hear though that some of them prefer to be posted to Lagos. Lagos is very ah, okay. But maybe this story will change your, your mind. It's the same everywhere, but this one is coming from Lagos. A police officer whose life has been uh, turned upside down. In fact, we'll come back to the police officer. First, let's go to this. Sorry if you don't understand the Yoruba, okay? I would advise those, I will plead with all of us who understand the Yoruba, so please help me interpret it as you can, okay, while this video plays, right, uh, for those who don't understand Yoruba very well. But it is about an actor, a Nigerian actor, as well as a, an MC too, event MC, a very popular guy. Man, I've not seen his face for years. He used to be my one of my favorite comedians. TV personality, Lawuri. How many of you here remember Lawuri? Lawuri said he was at uh, an event where he was working as an MC of a program of, I mean, of an event. So while there, acknowledging people that were coming in, you know, the way the Yoruba MC, the way they do it at parties, eh? you know, crack jokes, acknowledge a guest and all of that, he was doing his job until somebody came to call him. Uh, yeah, somebody came to him and told him, Koko Zaria, MC Ulu Eron's deputy. Yeah. The Lagos uh, Agberos, the local terrorists in our land, Yoruba land. Called on him, and then he walked straight to his table. What happened next? He could barely remember. As he only opened his eyes again on the hospital bed, I mean, well, hospital bed or the ER. Don't worry, listen, I'll come back and tell you more. Kitty Bill Bookman and Jira Papata Adam McBury, who are the general general, a year of Bookman and Jira Bamio Bookboma Woody, the little quay year Bamio. Video yet, Joe, move along my baby with Papata by me, she have video. Eba mi si a video yi. Mo fe ki a kone a tobi li mo fe kori video. Nto ni nto se le si mi. Nko to se le si mi ni on the 25th of June. Ni Tuesday to kodja yi. Ko senti o le se le si. Ori mire. Ni o ni experience yi wè yi la yi mi. Mo a lori stage ke gebi master of ceremony. Mo se program la lò wò. Ni mo de de ri ok beni kanto wa ba mi. Lori stage. Tony won pe mi ah mo ni ta lo pe mi won ni koko saria ah koko saria mo ba gbe mic sile fun kan na won ta bi on se mc mo ba gba do koko saria lo ni mo se de waju koko saria mo de be kaki gba ti koko saria ma soro koko saria so ke fu se mi o ra won bi ni ah mo ko da e ma binu but there is correction. One for the first time. 
I was wet with my blood and I lost consciousness. In fact, if you keep it to be my lot of my four and be more to the bed, to I come out being delinny along the lobby. A joy among the rest, I know me. No message, Michelle, a joy, I know me. Coco Saria, the one who happened to you. No, but I get no bad hospital. Me, Mobis, the hospital, but more hospital in cotton, no more in the pay. No, no, we me. Bring my best in a part of the idea, a best in a part of the idea. I'm <laughs> That should be somebody who is not just anybody. He is an actor. And I'm talking about a veteran actor. Something that you can possibly think will give you a bit of a privilege, a little bit of a respect. No, not in that contraption. Nobody is spared. So now here is the story. That man is an actor. Like I was saying, right? He was working as uh, the master of ceremony mc at an event then this uh chief thug Koko Zaria, sent somebody to call him and the first question he asked him was did you not see us here which means they've been seated but he's, he he didn't acknowledge them so while he was just ah i'm so sorry i'm so sorry I will make correction once I get back to the stage. I will make correction. I'm really, really sorry. Then he said he heard one of them say, asked that, is that Lawori? And another person answered, that, yeah, that's him. That's Lawori. Lawori, he said, yeah, that's him. Then he just picked up the bottle of Mattel. Do you know how thick the bottle of Mattel is? Eh? How very thick, right? Just pick up the bottle of Mattel that they are drinking there. Bow on his head. And he just collapsed. That's it. He said he was soaked in his own blood. So the only time he woke up was when they were stitching. Stitching that head. And he said... That was the time he started kind of regaining consciousness. Little by little. Little by little. And since they have done that to him, he has not been himself. He's been unable to sleep. He's been unable to actually, without, you see, he's been in pain. That's an actor. That, that kind of assault not, would not only lead to the arrest of a uh, those, the person who broke that bottle on his head, it will actually ensure that they, because it's an attempted murder, it's manslaughter, attempted murder. That's an attempted murder. You are not fighting, nothing. But that is what the contraption is. Do you know where the, the actor, when, I mean, do you know where the actor goes to, to seek help? Social media. And your money, Nigeria, your Please, Nigeria, help me. Oh. I tell you, this is what I use to feed my family. This guy has been making movies. I'm talking about blockbuster movies. So, but they are part of the generation that the pirates destroyed them, destroyed all of the hard work. They are supposed to be actors, but they are poor. When I say poor, I mean you are an actor, you are a producer, producing your own movies. That should set you for life. 
but not in not in Nigeria, unfortunately. So he's one of them. He has no power. He has no leverage. He has no public uh, uh, clout. He has probably he has no real connection. He's an actor. He had to come to social media to say, oh, Nigeria, yo. I don't want to be going out and then be scared. I don't want to be afraid. This is how I feed my family. Please, eh? What are you? What do you want us to do? Now worry. To beg Coco Zaria, please, Coco Zaria, please, eh? Please leave Lawori alone. Eh, Coco Zaria, please forgive Lawori. Kill you know me. I don't get Lawori. Who is Lawori? I mean, what? What are you going to do? I'm going to go. I'm going to go. You know, I said, no, Baba. Coco Zaria, sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Or what? Hmm? The next thing you are going to see. You will see Dila Wuri. You will see Coco Saria. They will be making video. I just said to you, it's all said to you. We are all the same, Baba. We are the same, Baba. We are the same, Baba. I said, I want to be too bad. Coco Saria. Coco Saria, that same man, you will soon see a video where he's going to say, we should thank Coco Saria. They have settled it. An actor got assaulted, almost killed. And you and I are just hearing that on social media from the actor begging us to please help him or protect him from Coco Saria. He has, he know, he has no idea what he did. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Then you, you, just you. And say you are a proud Nigerian. A proud Nigerian. You, that is just a fair game. It, you know, just a fair game statistic. Eh? Proud Nigerian. When I watched that uh, clip, honestly speaking, I, I really, really, really felt bad for him. Because that's, that's it. He's never going to get any help. He's just going to kind of make it around like whatever he suffered, maybe now God just won't make him come closer to Coco Saria. The next day, you say, Coco Saria, don't buy him car. You go see it on, uh, on Instagram. You will see it on TikTok. Then the next day, they say, everybody move on. Like Yashukudi, remember? Uh, uh, the next thing you will see a video of Coco Zaria. What are you talking I know they are at all. I don't even know that anybody is called a worry. Eh? I mean, uh, well, what is all this? All my enemies want to swear my name. You will see videos, and you see others. They will make videos and tell you. That uh, hey, I knew it. I knew it. The Coco Saria where I know. You know, if you do that kind of thing, I knew that Lawori was lying inside that same contraption. Oh, that was how the whole assault is going to die. And Lawori, well, you, you really, really need a proper, I mean, medical care. Oh. That thing. Yeah. And whatever they, they put together and all of that. This one that you said, after the OT, you are feeling like the head. Yeah, it's, that's why he said, after the whole uh, operations and all of that stitches, right? He couldn't sleep because of pain, okay? So he said that the whole head, that's why he said, the whole head, right? He said, he said, it's always like a swelling. He will be feeling like he said, it's kind of like a swelling like that. <laughs> May I tell you something, eh? Brain damage and other things. I don't know, maybe they do MRI scan and the rest of that, too. But if you really, really want to live long, la worry. And you don't want to live in, uh, in such a pain that in another few months, they will not tell us that, eh? La worry, kiti beo, oti beo, oti beo, oti, you know, oti beo. So the, I worry people all over the world. If you actually know how to help him, Yorubas generally, all of them will be say you are into all these celebrities, these celebrities, that and the rest of that. This is my own piece of advice. Seek justice for that guy. I know he won't get it. Also seek help for him. That head, we didn't break my tail on top. We open up enough that he passed out. That's an attempted murder. Sticking it together, I don't think. Ah, man.
and I should, it should be on some level of a medication, proper medical check for the next six months, one year, two years, until they will certify him as healthy. But look at him there. He's never going to get that. He will have to heal on his own. You have to heal on your own. There are other, there are other damages that I want you to pay attention to. That one is physical. There is other damages he suffers. That is uh, not physical. It's psychological. It will keep wondering. Like he said, he prayed. He said, I pray that you will never drive yourself to a place whereby they would have to carry you back to your house. Almost dead. Now, to him, for, for the rest of his life, that PTSD of what happened to him will live with him. And you and I probably would, would never understand what that means for somebody like him. Now, that is Nigeria. His own Nigeria has happened to him, uh, you know, happened to him uh, that way. PTSD for forever. That is uh, psychological. There are others that they are psychologically damaging. They will psychologically damage people they recruit. The recruits they recruited into their police, their military. They will psychologically damage them. They will come give them guns to start uh, hunting you down. They see officers shoot. Which kind of frustration could make somebody fire a gun at an Okada rider because of 50 Naira? If it is no mental health problem. Now, if you do want to know how they raise lunatics and give them guns with a black cloth and call them police in Nigeria, here is one. This is not physical. This is psychological. Imagine somebody trained or operating or existing in this kind of condition. Then he has a gun and you are there, right? Driving this your baby boy car. Oh, Yahuze, Yahuze, Yahuze. An officer from this uh, Nigeria Police College, I've been Nigeria posting, is with a gun. He's looking at you and be like, ah, who we'll kill you there? Give me money. And you say, okay, I don't get money. I know they pay bribe to a police officer. Automatically, they will go into a rage, a murderous rage. How do you think that comes by? Because they have been psychological, you know, you, it's like you have lunatics with guns. One of them made a video. They go soon arrest them if they never arrest this one. Oh. He made a video to show to the rest of you what it is like as a police officer, even in Lagos. And those are the people you are expecting to come and protect you. Tell me how. Officer. Hello, good morning, everyone. I want to use this media to inform the house, people in as many platform, to really tell you that where we are being posted, no good ventilation, no toilet, no good water, and where we are living, since rain started, we have been mobbing. Any time force, we doesn't we doesn't have rest. We will mob until the rain stop. Even when the rest stop, we we'll still be mobbing. We have to stay. We don't have. Open the place to our own uh, area where we live. This is the abandoned house there. No roof. And as soon as the rain is falling, no thing, the whole water will be dripping down straight to the district. And this is the opportunity to dress. And this is my name, Iyua Emmanuel. I want you to know that the admin, Super uh, Boniface Zebedi, at the time you call him, he will be insulting you. The one is the moment you just talk to him, he will seize your allowance. He will say the apostle there, anything you like, you want to spoil uh, Asco beat, this is the beat Asco, the estate, swampy area, abandoned upstairs where they kept us. You will see now. I'm coming down from the step. Look at water everywhere. Look at water, swamp. This is what we follow to our house. Look at it. We'll be moving, pulling our shoes. Pull our, look at this. What the, pull our shoes and our trousers and our uniform. This is what we follow to our place. We'll be dragging ourselves, managing to come and see where we live. Please, sir. I want the house. I want our Zoom himself. Anybody who lay on this particular clip should look at it critically. If really I'm telling lies. And now I'm going inside now for you to come and see that 
This is what we are passing through in Lagos, Lakwe area. And this is Lagos, so Lake Sir, I want you people to, to be watching. Just get friends to watch. So that you will not say, we want to close uh, Asco Beach. Uh, look at the area. Look at the area. Swamp everywhere. Look at water. This is the area we are living in. No good ventilation. Look at it. Everywhere. No good ventilation. This is the abandonment. So, tomorrow, they are me to talk to me that you have mentioned my name in vain. 